Doug Thompson, we're here in the shop and I'm gonna show you a little bit about this stainless steel project. This is actually a, kind of a custom made saddle arrangement that's adjustable for a wooden floor in a essentially a Japanese style uh, bathroom. And the lower portion is gonna get screwed to the concrete and then the wood is gonna get set on top of here. And the floor is a little bit off and it's sloped so the client wanted me to make some adjustable support uh, elements. The lower portion is just cut out and drilled. This portion right here, I cut halfway through it. I had a piece about four and a half inches long and I just cut through it and then bent it and then re-weld it real quick. This is gonna go underneath, no one's ever gonna see it. Uh, the top saddle, I'm gonna show you how I make that basically without uh, using any clamps. So oftentimes when you're uh, doing multiples of small projects, I would call it kind of a, a fixture that's positioned in such a way that I can just sit down and grab all the parts, do the move, and then set the finished part over on my table. So I've just got uh, a telescoping tube with a plate on it. I have my material here all stacked up, ready to go as I work. Uh, there's kind of a fixed stop on the left, then a blocking element here to position the parts vertically. So when I go to put all this together, I have a little spring-loaded TIG fixture here that I made, and I'll put that like that. And I've got uh, tubing just set up in there to lift the part where I want it. I'll just go ahead and push down, double check my corners, and then I'll just put my TIG hold-down fixture on the top. And without any clamps, I can go ahead and weld this up so I can do this project very quickly. So typically with any little fixture like this, welding sequence is somewhat important. I'm gonna weld here, then here, then here, then here. So I'm working back towards myself. I don't wanna reach over any location where I've welded and it's hot. So I'll go ahead and just tack these together. Put this on here. If you have parts that are kind of close but not perfect, my move is to eyeball it, measure it, get it close. Then I'll set the stop on this square so that I can go like this. Mark and mark. And then I'm going to kind of go the sideways. So if we measure from both sides, we're assured that the part is in the center, irrespective of whether these dimensions change just a little bit. What I do is take the nut that's already welded. I've got the all thread welded to this and I, I held the all thread down below the level of the nut so that I, the nut sits very squarely. And then I can put it on the part. And on all of them, I've taken the two flats and put them in this position. I'm gonna turn it like this, get it centered, put my little hold down fixture on it. I'm just gonna to check to make sure it's down on there. And then I'm going to do an autogenous weld on this corner and that corner, two opposite corners. 